So I'm going to show you guys how to use the Cloud On app today. Uh, once you download it from the App Store, uh, which is free by the way, uh, it'll be on your iPad, so I'm just going to click it here. And then it's going to open up to a screen uh, where you can either use your, your box.net uh, files, your Dropbox files, or your Google Drive files. Uh, you have to put your information in there uh, your, for your account first, you know, your username and password. Um, I already did that, so I'm just going to click my Google Drive, and uh, my Google Drive files will uh, show up there. Uh, it's worth pointing out that any changes that you make to these files will automatically change the file, um, you know, in the cloud, and then it would change it on your computer or wherever else you uh, sync your files. So, uh, for the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to make a, a Microsoft Word document. To do that, you have to click on this, uh, kind of looks like an A, I guess, with uh, pencils and a ruler or something. I don't know, it's this icon right here. Um, so I'm going to click that, and it, and it shows you can make an Excel file, a Word file, or a PowerPoint. Um, let's just click Word for now. Uh, and you have to name the file, so I'm just going to write test file new. Okay, it's going to create the document eventually. Hopefully. Okay, and then it brings you to a screen like this, and it looks like uh, 2010 uh, Microsoft Word from a, a Windows-based machine. And uh, real simple to start typing, just uh, kind of click the screen there and the keyboard pops up and you can just type whatever you want to uh, type in there, whether it's an assignment or, or something else. And if you want to um, edit the text, if you, if you click on the screen here, you can highlight the text with this uh, fancy crosshairs thing here and say I want to make it bold or italics or underline or, uh, you know, change the font color. Um, I don't know, whatever you want to do, um, make the font get bigger, um, it's pretty much just, uh, standard Microsoft Word. And, uh, the files actually just save themselves or auto-save, I'm going to click the, uh, three lines in the upper left, and if you can see it says auto-saving there in the upper left, and then to go back to the screen you were at with all your files, just click the, uh, three lines in the middle, and then it brings you back to where you were. As you can see on the bottom here, uh, test files there. I can just click it real quick like that just to kind of show you. Um, and uh, say I wanted to do something with that, say I wanted to email that to uh, another teacher or student, you can um, you click this uh, button on the, on the right up there, um, and it brings you to uh, a screen that looks like that. So I'm going to select the test file, and you can, if I wanted to, I can email it to, uh, or email the link to the file uh, to whoever I wanted. Um, you can delete it if you want, rename it, copy, cut, as you can see up there. I don't want to do any of that right now, so I'm just going to click cancel. Um, you could also open up a screen that, you know, open up a file that you already have. So I'm going to open up uh, let's this one right here, I guess. Uh, and it's that file that shows a uh, collaboration schedule. Eventually, it will open. Um, and you can make edits to this. Um, you can read it if you want. Uh, scroll down on the right. Um, you know, pretty standard. Um, and again, to go back, the three lines in the upper left, three lines in the middle, and you're back at your home screen. Uh, if I wanted to make a PowerPoint file, again, click that, uh, that A in the middle, and then I'm going to click PowerPoint, uh, test, PowerPoint, new, eventually it loads. Okay, and this is click to add first slide. It's uh, you know pretty standard from here. If you want to add the title, just click to add the title and add it in there. Um, you know, if you want to add a picture or you know whatever else you want to add, new slide. Um, it's just pretty standard. Uh, back to the home screen. Um, as you can see on the bottom, the uh, test PowerPoint shows up. Uh, if you want to go to you know your Dropbox folder, you can just click the home button, it goes back, and you can click between the uh, Dropbox or Google Drive if you have uh, different files in different places. Um, uh, so that's pretty much uh, Cloud On. Let me know if you have any uh, further questions.